So in this video, I want to show you exactly how to come up with a buyer persona or a customer persona for your business or for your product that you're selling. It's really easy. It's really simple. And before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like or leave a comment. It really helps for my videos to get found a lot easier on YouTube and I really appreciate it. All right, so let's start by using ChatGPT, the AI chatbot. You can uh, get, you can sign up for this for free and start spitting out as many buyer personas as you want. All right, it doesn't, it doesn't matter on it what your industry is or or uh, your product that you're selling. It's going to help you because once you fine tune, once you figure out who that person is that you're selling for, it's going to make things, everything in your marketing and your business efforts, so much easier. All right, so I'm gonna use the example of, I want a buyer persona for whatever your product is. So I'm gonna tell it that I have a for an anti-aging skincare product called Visibly Young. Okay, and it's gonna spit out an exact buyer persona, who this person is, what their interests are, what their uh, income is, their education is, all of this valuable, valuable information right at our fingertips, all right? And we can use this to create our marketing efforts, to create our emails, to create our landing pages, our VSLs, our advertisements, right? So let's see what it says. All right, Linda, Linda's 45 to 55. She's an office manager, education, bachelor's degree, married with two children. Where does she live? Urban or suburban area? Now, again, this doesn't, this isn't, you know, exactly who the person is that you're selling to, but it's a very general guideline and gives you an image of who the person is, who your, your ideal customer is, who your ideal buyer is. All right, her interest, staying active and healthy, reading beauty and wellness blogs, trying skincare products. Challenges, uh, balancing work and family responsibilities, dealings with signs of aging, including fine lines, wrinkles, goals, uh, to maintain a youthful appearance and confidence in her skin, uh, to find a skincare routine that works for her busy life. That is very valuable. All right, you can use that easily in your marketing, in your advertising. Buying behavior. Linda is willing to invest in skincare, quality skincare products that she believes will deliver results. She values products with natural anti-aging ingredients and likes to research and read reviews before making a purchase. She's willing to pay a premium price for a premium for a product that's highly re recommended by trusted sources. So just by knowing that, you can increase your price maybe 10, 20, 30% by listing these, uh, these trusted sources that she is going to believe. All right, and they should be trusted sources. Maybe studies, maybe from uh, celebrities or influencers that use the product and 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 uh, encourage the product, right, or endorse the product. All right, marketing message: Visibly Young Retinol Cream should be focused on anti-aging benefits. Yeah, we know that. Uh, message. Messaging should highlight natural and safe ingredients using the product and should convey the convenience and ease in incorporating it into a busy lifestyle. Uh, reviews and testimonials from trusted sources should be featured prominently to appeal to Linda's research-driven buyer behavior. Really, really important. Now, one thing I also like to add is give me a list of objections that Linda might have. All right. We want to know why she wouldn't purchase. What are the reasons why she would hold back, hold back, put entering in her credit card and and clicking the buy now button? This is going to spit out that information and it's going to help us to, to uh, really get Linda to take action to buy. All right, and we want to include this in our messaging and our marketing price, right? She might be hesitant on a premium price. We have to make sure that she understands the value that she's getting. Skin sensitivity, all right? Now, uh, this is all dependent on a retinol cream. This is very dependent on anti-aging cream. These objections are not going to be for every single buyer persona, for every single customer uh, persona or ideal customer, right? But it's going to give us that information. You can use this information to find out what is going to be helpful for you and how you can speak to your customer avatar 
more effectively and get better conversion rates. So you see the point that we can really create these buyer personas very easily, very simply, and come up with some objections why they wouldn't buy, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you did, you're gonna like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.